Okay, so okay, so this is an introduction to server to go. Um, and the reason why we're using this server is that you don't have to do anything in your computer. You don't have to worry about uh, configuring anything. Um, it, it's really, really, really simple. It offers a lot of advantages over just uh, editing an HTML file than just loading it into a browser. Okay, because of the fact that in, with using this server to go, you can write um, both client side scripting like JavaScript, server side scripting like PHP, and you can also um, use run some SQL commands because it has a SQL like uh, um, server installed with it as well. So let's go ahead and open it up and launch it. So I double click on it, I double click server to go, WXC. Okay, so there's the app. Uh, even though it looks like Internet Explorer here, it's not. Um, okay, you'll notice that there's no labels up here. Okay, so this this window that you see here is part of the server to go app. Um, so this is where you'd be viewing all your changes. Uh, where you're editing uh, the pages for server to go. Um, so there's one, this is your default page. So notice I went into htdocs. Okay, this is my index.php. Uh, let's say we're going to edit. Now you would use Composer to edit it in the lessons or some other what you see is what you get um, editor. Um, we'll notice here, let's go ahead and just try to um, and just put something in uh, at the top here. So under congratulations, we're going to put uh, our hello world or our traditional first first piece of code. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this back to the htdocs directory. Close it. And let's go ahead and reload the page here. Okay, you'll notice that hello world is now underneath there. So that means that the server to go reprocessed the PHP file and is now showing us the resulting HTML in our browser. Okay, so that's our introduction. Um, remember, just the main things to, to remember is uh, it's um, server to go.exe to start, and then when you want to edit the main page, it's index.php in the htdocs folder. Good luck.